so I can be a golden trash can every day. Hi guys, my name is Holly. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm really excited and nervous and I don't know what I'm doing, but I have partial dreadlocks and I want a full head of dreadlocks. However, I don't want to dread the front of my hair. So I have an idea. I'm going to resection my dreadlocks, my partial dreadlocks to cover more of my head until about here. And I'm going to share that with you guys. So I look like a royal trash can, went out and ran my errands looking like this so that I can come home and share this with you guys and do this. So my plan is one, I'm gonna wash my hair because you need to have clean hair to do dreads. You don't want oily, greasy hair. Um, it just won't hold right. So I figured, let me go out and get all my shit done. I took my kid to Goodwill. I hope there's not a people at Goodwill because hey girl, I'm on it. Um, went and had lunch with my grandma and now I decided, okay, I got all my stuff done. My husband's out with the boys. Let me, let me do this. So I'm going to wash my hair. Um, and then my dreadlocks can just dry, air dry all day. That's fine. However, my loose hair needs to be clean and I'm thinking it'll be easier to section it while it's wet. I had a really hard time sectioning back here. Um, I did the majority of it when it was dry, of course, cause you make dreadlocks when it's dry, but I figure it's going to take me a while so it can dry as I section it and then I'll see how it looks. And if I love it, we'll dread it. And then I'll have, I guess I'll still have partial dreads cause I'm going to leave a row out, but a row and then about two rows right on top of my head. However, that's going to feel like a full head address to me because I never intended or would want my bangs put in. And then I want a softer look to keep this out. So when I do do like a messy bun, so I can be a golden trash can every day, I can still do that and not have just a ton of dreads right here. So it makes it softer, you know, or styles. Make sense? Gotcha girl. Okay. You following? This is what we're doing. Shower. And then I'm going to section it, ponytail off the sections so I can see, get a feel, an idea of how it's going to look. And I'm going to share this with you guys. Um, I get a lot of questions on how to section dreads, um, all that stuff. So I figure if you have partial dreads and you want to potentially see how it would look to have more or just follow along to see what maybe a more full head of dreads would look like, I got you. So I am going to take this whatever this is, wash it and we'll jump right in. So be right back. BRB. All clean. All clean. Okay. I had that on for about 15 minutes, maybe less, 10, 15 minutes. I, these are all my dreads. They come up pretty high already. So in my last to section partial dreads my hair still sectioned that way so i will show you guys i still have the sides out and then it rounded and my hair does currently sit very nicely over the back of my dreadlocks i can do a lot of styles um but personally for me when my hair is down i just have so much hair you can't even see my dreadlocks, honestly. So I don't know. I'm just, I want to see how this will look. So I am going to just jump in, I guess, and just see how it looks. And if I hate it, I'm going to leave it like this. If I don't hate it, more dreadlocks. So we'll see. There's something about potentially, I say potentially, because I may not even dread these after I section this off. There's something about potentially conditioning your hair for like the last time. I'm like, oh, this might be the last time I condition this. It's kind of funny to think about, but. So I don't have a whole, whole heck of a lot of hair right here on the side. So I'll have to see like how much 
do I want? I don't know. I don't know. I think this is where everybody struggles, especially when you don't just want to go in and dread absolutely every single piece of hair you have. It's a struggle to like figure out what the heck and Bob you're doing. Like, holy heck, what are you doing? Which piece of hair do you want in? Which piece of hair do you want out? What will look good? So hard, but good news for you. Section it with ponytails to give you an idea how to see it. Second piece of good news. If you follow through and actually dread it, you have about a week grace period that it'll be easier to brush out. After a week, you locked in, baby. That is your hair. So there is a way to kind of get out. It's not easy, but I suggest ponytail it. See if you like it. If you're confident, dread it. And then if you don't like it, you still can get out of it. So with that being said, I'll be okay if, if this is a fail, but I just, I have to see how it looks. So here's my idea. I typically, when I just throw my hair over to the side, swoosh it to my left like this. And even when I pull my hair back, I will part it right here. That's just kind of my natural part now because I wear my hair to that side so often. So I have a rat tail comb. This one is very loved. Missing some teeth. As long as it ain't your boy missing teeth, it's okay if it's your comb. <laughs> okay, so I am thinking, oh, I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, I'm thinking I definitely want to have like more. I don't have a fringe cut right now, but I go through phases where I'll just shink, have bangs. I don't know, my hair grows really fast. So I'm thinking I want to do, how far back do I want this to stay? I keep looking behind the camera because I'm clearly in my bathroom, my mirror's back here. So as long as I stay right about here, I think I'll be happy with that. And I'm gonna angle it towards my face. Now this would be the hair I'd leave out. So, See how thin that makes this? I may have to dread some of this hair into existing dreads if I go through with this, um, but I'm just gonna ponytail it and it'll be really little ponytails. So just know if it's a super tiny, tiny ponytail, like this one would have to be put into most likely this dread right here, combined them. So just because of how I had it sectioned before, we're gonna have to make it work the best we can here. Let me do it a little skinnier. Okay. Let me see how I feel about that. Just that. I, like I said, I do think this is the hardest part is just figuring out how it'll look. I like to just, this is what I did the first time is I sectioned it and then just played with it. Like, okay, how will just these pieces of hair look? I kind of like that. It's just a thin piece and then I can taper it off so it's not just so heavy. And then you'd really be able to see the dreads. Now, I want to see how it will look out of just a fine tooth teasing comb. I just want to see how this hair will sit if I pull it straight down. I feel like that sits pretty nicely too. It's like a decent amount of hair for when I do pull my hair back. And then when I do braids, let's see how the coverage would look. I mean, it's enough that it'll keep my hair looking nice and soft. So I'm pretty happy with this side. I'm gonna band, I'm gonna band this off as this is the hair that's staying out. This is not gonna be dreadlocked. So if you guys can see, this is what I mean. I'm gonna have like thin one row up to two 
thicker right on top of my head. So similar to what I have now with the bowl rounded shape here down to this. I think it's kind of the same concept, but um, just closer to the front of my face. That's why I'm like, this is, this is gonna be a full head of dress. So let's see how it looks. I had a dream the other night that I actually did this and went through with it and dreaded it. And then when I woke up and it wasn't done, I was like, son of a, because that means I have to stand, stand here and do it. It wasn't already done. So here we are. I don't know if I was more mad that I have to like the process because it takes so long or if I was mad that it just wasn't fully dreaded. I think I was just more mad that it wasn't fully dreaded because I love dreadlocks, so. All right, this side, I wanna try my best to make them symmetrical. The best to my of my ability, of course. It's very hard to section your own hair, so um, if you can enlist help, go for it. Me personally, I'm very OCD. I just don't want to have anybody else do it because I trust myself more. And that comes with everything, dyeing my hair, cutting my hair, pretty much anything, I'm gonna do it, so. Okay, unless it's a full on haircut, then no. Mm -mm, I'm not the one. Okay. I've just had too many issues with, especially my hair getting bleached and too many errors. Let's see how thick. <laughs> she's thick. Now she's thin. She's thin. I'm just seeing how wide I made this side compared to this side. Looks about the same. So I think I have it pretty even. I want to pull this ponytail. And see how thick. This side's just a hair wider. I keep saying thicker. She's thick. see how that sits. That feels better. Okay, let me toy with this a little bit. I want to see how the flow feels. Get all this clipped back. So, I'm just going to play with it and see. So again, like this is just, this feels heavy with just this, but I can clean it up, cut the ends if I need to. I'm not mad about this so far. It's nice, okay, I like it. Now, the difficult part is going, the really difficult part, I should say, this is all difficult, is gonna be sectioning this back here. So. Let me ponytail these off. This is what's staying out and not being dreaded. My loose hair, look how little it is. Okay. Definitely make washing easier just to have to wash this separate. Okay. Boom. So my goal here is section in the middle of that dread. And then I'm just gonna check it and make sure that that's about the middle. I don't want to have my dreads, I don't want this part to go straight here and have them lay exactly one on top of the other. When I get to the top of my head, I may do triangles to give it more of a design because that's where my hair is gonna part and lay and you'll see more. Um, but for here, I'm just going to continue doing the square brick pattern exactly like I have in the back of my head. 
So let's put a small, I don't think that'll be too, I have some pretty thin dreads throughout my hair. My hair is very fine and very thin, but I have noticed with proper shampooing and taking care of them properly and being very gentle when I maintenance them, I haven't had any issues with too much breakage and they are getting thicker. So a lot of people say if your dreads are too thin, you have the potential of them falling out. I completely agree, especially if you go in with that crochet needle and break all those hairs. So especially for me, my hair's fine anyways, super fine. I just have a ton of it. So um, on these really, really little ones, I'm just in incredibly, incredibly careful so I don't get breakage because I don't want them to fall off. So see, like, here's a really little one. Here's one. It's really tiny and it's been doing fine. It's almost a year old now and it's starting to bulk up. So it's a, it, these two will be about the same size. So I think that one will be fine. I don't think I need to add it in. And I want thin, thin, small dreadlocks. So I have more volume, more over time. They'll get thicker as they get longer. All right. And I just, I like the look of the littler dreadlocks better too. So definitely makes maintenance a little bit longer because you just have more, more dread you have to fix. So again, I'm going halfway in between the next dread up. You can go a little over halfway if you need it to be thicker with this one. I do just cause this hair right here is so narrow. The width of it this way is very thin. All right, so I have section just three right here on the side. So I'm gonna section three on this side, try to keep them um, as symmetrical as possible to this side so it just is even. And then um, we'll work on the top. I may do, like I said, something a little different for the top just to give it more of a cool effect since this is actually what you're gonna see now instead of just seeing my loose hair. I'm getting excited! gonna be crazy I'm really excited just to think that this would be the only loose hair I had and then look all this would be flipped over dreadlocks how cool would that be okay guys let me go do three this. on this side and three on this side oh I'm hot that took me way too long all right there's my three this one's really little just like this one but I also thought too and I wanted to share my thought with you guys is around the ears it would probably be more comfortable to have a smaller dreadlock, especially if you're prone to like, you know? So just a thought, just a side note. I think it would be a great idea. Okay, now the top of my head. I have more hair up here than the sides and I'm thinking this needs to essentially be two rows. And I want to try. Holy shice, my guys, I'm hot. Being a woman, y'all. I'm hot. Okay. Dreadlocks don't help when you're when you a lady and you get hot. You know, you know what I mean. Okay. So I'm thinking I want to do triangles instead of just the squares because. When you're flipping and whatever with your hair, it's gonna be this section. And I just think that would look really cool. So I wanna keep it about an inch. You know, an inch is about this part of your finger. So all mine are about an inch is how I gauge it. So I wanna keep it about an inch, of course, with hopefully accommodating my part, maybe not looking too crazy. We'll see what we can do. So just do about an inch. Let's start. Maybe if we did our a triangle here. Let me see how that would look. Just from our part area-ish. okay my little boy of course is in the bathtub behind me so he likes to drink the butt water so if you hear anything behind me it's just him he's coughing a little bit because of course here's a glass of water 
No, no, I won't drink it. Here's a bathtub full of water. He drinks it. That's a kid for you, right? So anyways, if you hear anything, it's him. It's not coronavirus. Okay, that's pretty. I mean, hey, <laughs> look at me. Looking professional. Okay, let's do from here also. It might be a little weird because right here obviously is not triangle. So we'll have to see after I do this what I think about it. Okay. I mean, that's pretty dope, but that's too much in my opinion. Like, that's a lot of my hair. So I might need to make it. Again, it just depends on how much, how thick you want your girls to be. Okay. Let's see how that looks. That actually helped give more to this side too. Okay. okay, I pretty much think that. Let's see if I can see those from the top. No. I like that triangle. All right, let me continue on. I'm gonna do a, yeah. a backwards facing triangle to a forward facing all the way over. We holy heck Bob. I am done. That took an incredibly long amount of time. I knew it would. Sectioning your hair takes probably just as long as actually dreading it if you do it by yourself. If you have help, hopefully it doesn't take that long because honey, boo boo, girl, child, I'm like, that took me a long time. But it was worth it because I can really see how my hair will look now when it is dreaded to the point I want it. So I did go ahead and do the triangles right here. Hopefully you can see that. This is all loose. So my whole head is just a square brick pattern except for the little round crown part of my head is triangles and I really like the effect. I like that that's the part you're gonna see when my hair is down. So I like that I can flip my dreads, you know, any which way, triangles, and it's just, it gives it a little something. So after doing this, um, I definitely am going to go ahead and dread my hair up until here. And I feel like that's my stopping point. I don't foresee me doing any more, but you never know. So I hope this helped. Um, show you guys how to section for dreads. I'll have to make an updated video um, about my dread journey and where I'm at, especially because this video is so long. Um, I will definitely update you guys after I dread all this extra hair. I think this is going to be another 16, maybe 18 dreadlocks and then I'll be done. But I'm really excited that you're going to be able to see them yes this was awesome this was worth it i'm so glad i took the time to do it so this is how it'll look hopefully you can see hopefully you can see the the sectioning so with the triangles they do i wouldn't suggest doing triangles on the back of the head because they can't sit directly on top of each other but when they're on top of your head they kind of fall like over any which way so they don't sit directly on top of each other so the triangles here was a great idea everywhere else i would definitely suggest doing the brick pattern with squares and then the size is just up to you if you guys have any questions or would just like to chat with me feel free to reach out in the comment section below or on my instagram and please don't forget to subscribe i mean help your girl out it's something free don't forget to subscribe before you leave so thank you again for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time bye